Hello and welcome back to part four of our all-in-one challenge. We are currently getting ready for work and Chris is still over. He's on our computer right now. Just want to be able to ask him to be my boyfriend. He's <laughs> in a stupid cow pajamas. All right, heading to level two. Why is he so... Why does he not like Grady? I mean, why does he not like Chris? Huh, interesting. Let's... Blurt. I don't know if we'll get the romance bar or not. I really don't. I'm kind of kind of doubting things at this point. Maybe the restart fixed it. We'll find out. We can try for baby. Propose going steady. Maybe there is no romance bar yet. I don't know. Okay, so we just entered into an exclusive relationship. Oh, wow. We'll get married right after my birthday is what we're going to do. Let's just call the repair technician. We want to make out with a Christopher. We also want to become best friends with him. So let's just chat. All right, Carpool's going to show up in about an hour. Kiss? That's what she wants to do, right? Oh, she wants to make out. Let's make out before work. <laughs> Why does he not like him? <laughs> Probably because he does nothing. Sits around and watches TV. That's the repairman. Get to know Grady a little bit. Okay, I gotta go to work. I bet I had a heart attack. I thought I wasn't recording for a second. <laughs> oh, Grady's just helping himself to my food. Bye. I think Grady's a little bit cuter. I don't know. <laughs> the thing is, though, is Chris and her hit it off. So I guess it doesn't matter what I want. Like, they had the whole, oh, I found an attractive situation happen. It is gonna be her birthday, though, so let's get the birthday. All right, spying on the cuisine. Your rivals in the restaurant business are really doing well. And it isn't sitting well with the chef. You've been tasked to eat at one of the other restaurants in town, then return to work and report your findings. Watch your back. So we have to dine at one of the other restaurants alone or with a guest, then return to work to earn a job performance increase. Sure, may as well. Okay, so tomorrow is our Sims day off. 462 simoleons today. Very nice. Invite party over. We can totally do that. But what we're gonna do is have a birthday party tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, we age up tomorrow. So let's eat leftover fruit parfait. Ooh, we got a nice new uniform. Very nice. And then we are going to sleep and then we'll throw ourselves a birthday party. Oh gosh. Holy freaking Chris. Now we're gonna sleep through it. We have a birthday party coming up. Oh my gosh. From one chef to another, Jared Frio, a fellow chef, would like to discuss cooking with you to see if there are some tips to be gleaned from your culinary cranium. Meet up with Jared Frio to socialize and share cooking tips, and you might walk away with a few cooking tips and a relationship boost. Works for me. I'm going to have a birthday party, so we can just invite him. There we go. Going to wake up, go take a bath, and then we'll uh, arrange our birthday. Throw, oh, not at, just throw a party. We'll start it at 6 a.m. because we're crazy like that. And it's going to be casual. We will bring Frio and Keaton and our boss, Hank Goddard, Sears, Tuesday Sears. You know what? We'll just bring all of them. Okay, so six is too early. So eight, nine, 9 a.m. it is. All right. We'll have a party at 9 a.m. Eat leftover fruit parfait. Some cereal just hanging out there, which is gross. <laughs> okay, and we want to serve a home-cooked meal at the party. And throw a great party. We'll see if we can get there when it gets closer. Right when people start showing up, we will cook a home-cooked meal. What is this? Buy a buffet to use the toilet. We need to make sure we're 100%. Let's unclog it, I guess. Happy birthday to me. We're unclogging a toilet. But it looks like we leveled up. Um, let's answer the phone that's ringing silently. Sure, sure. It's Adora's birthday. Today she embarks on the next stage of life. Great adventure. Why not buy her a birthday cake and throw her a party? We're already there. Adora's party is starting soon. So let's serve uh, fruit parfaits. All right, the guests are arriving. Who is that? Hank. What happened to you? You want a bulk, bud? Thanks on a bulk. So we have fruit parfaits. Let's. Oh my goodness. Wow. Adora Loveless just had a steamy makeout at a party. Getting the look with full partying down makes it for a night to remember. That's new. Okay, so Adora needs to blow out the candles. Wow, they are really feeling it. All right, everyone. Ugh. One sec. I need to get into photo mode. Ugh, camera's moving so slow. God, there's someone left food on the computer desk. Yes, crazy eyes. 
Yay! That was some music. All right, Adora is now fully mature, at least some of the time. Adult. She'll really need to think about establishing herself in a career and family life while there is still time. Well, we're an adult now. Yay! That got really quiet real fast. Hey. Aged up to an adult. Everyone, get some cake. Should we propose marriage? Let's propose. Oh, Hank's got the guitar. What happens if we propose at a party? Okay, that's enough of the cake. Who is that? Davy Linnell? I don't remember inviting him, but whatever. Girl, stop cleaning the maids here. Go propose. Propose marriage. There's too many people in my house. Oh, we're gonna be smooched. Let's do it. Propose. Oh, everyone's leaving now. Yay! Woohoo! Adora and Christopher are now engaged. I can get married at the wedding party if they prefer something a little more intimate or a private wedding. Can't we just elope? How do we... Oh yeah, don't we do it the phone? Bye everybody! Sounds like they had fun. That's good. Yeah, everyone seems to have had fun. Okay, let's see. Let's check our phone. Oh, how is the party not over? Uh, oh, it's because he's still here? Mm, no, that's not what I want to do. Okay, that works. Party is over, right? Let's get our mail. I wonder if we got gifts. It was a modest success. Guests feel good about having attended. That's good. That's good. Because in the past, I never had much luck with the birthday parties in this game. But I get... Did it go into my family inventory? Of course it did. Oh, doesn't really match anything in here. I mean, it's fine. We can just hang out in there. You want to go on another date with Christopher? Okay, actually, let's ask out on date and we'll go to not the police department. <laughs> is it Mirabello? Is it? Let's go to the little Corsican bistro. Where is our date? There he is. We should be on a date. Okay, so we can have a private wedding. Oh, the party's over. Let's eat here with our date. Oh, and we want to go see a movie. When is the next movie? Five. Okay, sweet. So when we're done eating, we can pop right over there. All right, let's attend the movie with the date. And let's go see Swollen Hearts. Where is he? Did we just leave him behind? <laughs> we're just like, bye. <laughs> Try and catch us. Who is that? Miranda. The light made your eyes scary for a second, little Miranda. Okay, we are tired. Where is a where is our date? He's missing again. Invite over. You wanna stay the night at our place again? I'm just trying to get him to move in, honestly. I know it seems like I'm like rushing, but it's just there's so much more to do when you have more than one sim. I feel like there's a lot of like dead air <laughs> at this point in the game when you only have the one. I need more than one sim. I need a lot going on. I need hectic. We'll get there. Excuse the meowing in the background. Someone thinks he's gonna get his dinner early, but he's not. Amorous hug. Let's enthuse about wedding. Aww. Do you want to stay over? We'll have the private wedding tomorrow. We went on our fourth date together. We've been out on a lot of dates. Let's try for baby. Gonna do it. She is so tired. Adora Loveless is certain that Chris Steele will be a great father and is trying for a baby with him. Starting a family is a path to many great new memories. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, that's the noise. There we go. <laughs> now the question is, is it going to be one, two, or three? Because we do have the fertility trait. So that should make things fun. We need to use the toilet. We need to take a bath. We need to eat leftover lobster thermidor. Because why not? We need to watch the cooking channel. Why do we want to buy a new computer? We already have a really good one. We're just going to hold off on that. Is it broken? No, it's not broken. Fine. Okay. He's got to get a job though. So let's have our private wedding. We'll pay our bills. Have a private wedding. <laughs> that oh, has got oh, to stink oh, so bad, dude. I can't remember what his traits are. I feel like cleanliness is not one. Okay, so he has a cook, so that's fine. We'll get him into the get him into something. Either fishing or daredevil or cooking. I don't know if that's from the ickies or if she's got morning sickness. What are we going on about? Why do we want to have a private wedding? Oh, because I was in mean. Okay. My goodness, I was so concerned. Oh, here we go on. I'm missing it. Ah, I'm the worst videographer ever. Oh. Yay! We're moving him in. 
He does have a nicer house, though. Oh, I wish I could check out the house. Should we move into his house and we'll just sell our furniture? Yeah, we're moving. We're moving into his house. His house is much nicer than our house. No doubt about it. And yeah, I guess we'll leave our car behind. Whatever. It's fine. Let's go. But we will take the loveless name. Bam. That's it. Let's do this. Bye, car. He wants to join the law enforcement career, learn gardening. So we just exchanged rings and we'll never forget the day she committed herself to her sweetheart. Oh, we have a couple days off to get settled. Christopher Loveless and Adora Loveless are now married. Adding Christopher to the household has brought in 2,530 simoleons in gifts and tax benefits. Very nice. Very nice. So we move. Here we are. Here's our new home. So we can make this into a second bedroom for a child. It's not terrible. It's more spacious for sure, for sure. He also wants to learn the cooking skill and take a class in cooking. We can totally do that. Um, We have a car, so that's good. So when does she get to go to work? Okay, two days and two hours. That's fine. Oh my. Okay, so we want to watch. The oh, we don't have our TV. We need to get a TV. Well, oh, we have a TV. It's right here. Watch the cooking channel. That's what we want to do. Oh, oh, yeah. The whole breakup between him and Fiona. I was confused for a second. Let's change it to cooking so she can get that. And let's get him to join the law enforcement. So not on there. Do we not have a computer here? We do not have a computer here. I think I messed up by moving here. We need a newspaper or something. Not really. We can put a computer here. We have a cute little rug. Yeah, that's nice. Right under that. We have a dining chair just stay in our inventory cute little table okay we'll just hold on to those things and computer do this one because we don't want to go super duper broke and i want to think i want to upgrade the bed if we can yeah we definitely want to upgrade the bed so eight eight three and three and eight three and three go with this Ooh, in this color sell that Plop that in there. Very nice. Anything else I want to change out or are we good? We have a car. We're good. I think we're good. Okay. All our books. No. Oh, these are his books. Never mind. Haha. <laughs> and Chris, you need to go find a job, please. And I think she's actually leveling up thing, but we can have her go share cooking tips. Okay. So one sec. Let's law enforcement. It's going to be a snitch. 40, some millions an hour, nine to three. He'll have Saturdays and Sundays off. The presence of crime is evident in all soci societies, and it's up to a few brave Sims to protect and serve. The law enforcement career requires peak physical conditioning, shrewd analytical abilities, the right attitude, and close ties with a partner. The right end. We will send her over to share cooking tips with, uh, I can't remember his name. Your, uh, no. Why is dude chick's freaking wife hitting on my husband? Well, things will be exciting, I guess. He wants to learn the gardening skill, take a class in cooking, learn the cooking skill. Who is this? What's Camila Goth doing here? Invite in, I guess. Okay, so what does she want? Cornelia, did I call her Camila? What is wrong with me? Really, really. I'm gonna keep an eye on this guy. I feel like there's gonna be a divorce soon. I don't trust him. I don't trust him at all. It's mad at. Okay, it's fine. They get a heart though. He's gone. This house is mine. So, why are we insulted? Oh, he's inappropriate, heavy sleeper, and mean-spirited. Very nice. Share cooking tips, please. Or not. We want to go on another date with Christopher. We want to go to the library. Ooh, we want to go get a massage. Let's do that instead of going on a date. Dark. Can you share the cooking tips already, please? All right. That was a big boost. The conversation between you and Jared Frio was full of great tips and cooking secrets. It's a shame Lisa! the local cooking channel Lisa! wasn't recording it Measure for you. broadcast. Water. Head home to prepare something delicious with your improved cooking abilities. Um, I'd rather not. I'd actually rather go to the spa and get a massage. Where's the spa? <sighs> As usual, it's probably right in front of me. Ah, there it is. It looks like a little birthday cake. So we want to get a massage and let's get the... Hmm. Let's go all out, get a deep tissue. Okay, so what is he up to? Watching TV. He wants to become friends with someone. <laughs> 
I love when they turn off the TV and it just gets awkwardly quiet. They're just sitting there staring randomly in random directions. He also thinks that sure. she has attractive Nod. company. Lovely. He wants a private aquarium. 13 different species of perfect fish and fish bowls. Well, okay. That's probably why he wants to learn gardening. All right. Talk about a day of pampering. Adora Loveless decided to spend some time at the spa. She will always remember getting a foot massage while enjoying a hot kelp body wrap. Sounds lovely. She's coming home. When she gets home... Oh, wait. He wants to learn cooking. I'll send him to a class for that, actually. Let's serve spaghetti. I don't think we've served spaghetti yet. Let's do that. She wants to eat mac and cheese. We can definitely do that. Let's set bed ownership. And then we will have her you. Oop. He can just do his own thing. He's fine. They do need to make some money so, <laughs> so that he can do go do like a gardening class and stuff. Uh, what a mess. She wants to kiss him. So we'll do that. Oh, he went to bed. Girl, go to sleep. What's, what is she doing? Oh, is it because she's pregnant? She just find out she's pregnant? Oh, there's the maternity clothes. All right, so we get the next two work days off for maternity leave. Okay. Instead of playing on the computer, you should actually get some sleep. I hope it's paid time off. I really do. Oh, she actually has a shower now. Bye. The snuggle. Hey, it's almost Christopher's birthday. It's fine. Okay, his carpool will arrive in about an hour. We will throw him a party on his birthday. Taking from the pregnancy, not from the bed. I was like, but we just bought a new bed. So he's gonna deal with his needs all good like. He'll be fine. And she is going to take a shower and then eat leftover spaghetti and then she'll go to the library because she has days off just visit the library may as well right i think your energy's up high enough let's go let's go do this stuff <clears throat> christopher loveless just went to work for the first time another 50 years of the daily grind and he can retire why does this picture look like that because that is not what he looks like did he change his hair for work his hair is different why is his hair different oh my gosh why is his hair different <laughs> I'm so curious. Quick, let's go. Oh, we haven't even hired a maid yet. We'll do that once once we get back to working. <laughs> we don't have much money at all. So we are at the library. Oh, what browse? Yes. Totally preggers and expecting mother's tale. Let's read that. We don't need to play on the computer right now. Let's just read something. I like the outfit. Matches the hair. Very blue. So Adora Loveless is preparing for her upcoming birth by reading a pregnancy book. She won't forget all the helpful tips about getting through the process of pregnancy. Read another pregnancy book. May as well. We have time. Oh, we want to have him read a pregnancy book. Okay. So we'd have to go to the store to buy a book so let's go to the store and buy a book after we read this one may as well why not all right christopher just left with 239 simoleons today good job more than we had originally that's all that matters okay so let's have him get him a gardening book oh no they're expensive okay we'll just get him this one all right can we give him all right you need to read this and answer your phone oh he did change his hair that's random that's fine oh no christopher loveless is in mourning because yumi sekimoto died i never knew who she was cornelia goth wants to talk sure and we need to no one is mashing up with our pictures right now <laughs> what is wrong with the game everything's getting weird how dare you spawn your car inside of my car sir i thought he was coming over for a second i think he might yeah he lives across the street that's our neighbor that's great how are we doing with oh gosh we have so many lifetime awards okay start from the top from the top -um. from the top dirt defiant would be good yeah let's do dirt defiant how about him does he have any barely read that book and is there a gardening channel i must say he does look much better with this haircut so we'll just leave it and if it goes back to the other haircut we'll just go back in and fix it okay so she wants to eat macaroni so we may as well just cook up some mac and cheese let's just keep the food coming helps our skills actually let's use the toilet and then use the toilet and then serve mac and cheese we could probably fit a tub in here we move the sink over here put a tub in here as well maybe doubt it hopeful thinking because it looks like the shower door is on this side yeah maybe not what level is it normal let's kick it up a notch the way leftovers he is reading let's speed through him reading that okay so we were paid for our personal time off so we can get a maid 
Oh, God, don't hit your head like that. She is a little hungry, so let's eat the leftover mac and cheese because that is a wish she wants. That is a wish she whooshed. And then we're going to hire a maid because it's going to get crazy in here eventually, maybe. I don't know. I just like having a maid. It's nice that they like clean surfaces that I don't pay attention to. Oh, look at the phone on the wall. Once he is out of the shower, she needs to kiss him. Can we click on him while he's in the shower? Okay, let's kiss. Kiss him, please. Oh, his hair changed again. I want to change that. I like the other hair. Let's hire a maid. And then we will change appearance for him. It's okay, we got a maid coming. Let's change his hair back to what it was. Because that was... Oh, does he have dark blue eyes? Was it this hair? No, oh, he kind of looks good with one of these hairs. It looks like he has dark blue eyes, dude. Yeah, he does. He has blue eyes. Aww. How precious. I mean, this hair's kind of nice. I don't like the eyebrows. It's them a little less bushy. That's fine. He has a bit of a bit of an overbite, don't he? Yeah, we'll just go back with this. This is good. This is fine. Oh, yeah, I forgot that I had her queued up to kiss him. So look, we're pregnant. I don't know if you knew this yet or not, but we're pregnant. Like I was like, I had no idea. What is this? Oh, it's the maid. Okay, that's fine. Oh boy. I mean, they are very in love, it seems. Like he's got like the my love thing and the attractive company. So I, I think they're good. I think they've, they're in a good spot. I really do. And I think we're in a good spot to end this episode. <laughs> so I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Oh, oh, I'm gonna go play computer. Today was very eventful my goodness <laughs> we aged up to an adult we got engaged to chris at the birthday party we did go on our fourth date Ooh -woo. we have a fifth one lined up i mean not exactly lined up we don't know if it's gonna happen before or after the babies but it is in her wishes and then we <laughs> tried for a baby and got preggers that's a situation we got married it was a private wedding we will have a more extravagant wedding down the line at some point but i figured we just had the birthday so let's not you know go too overboard we have a birthday coming up for chris as well i do believe if i did not miss it on accident let's see yeah so he has a birthday coming up in two days he's a friend with his car so that's a situation we moved to chris's house because it was much more spacious and we are going to be bringing some little sims into the world and chris got a job in the law enforcement career and a little bit of a makeover so hey next episode should hopefully be just as exciting anyway take care of yourselves oh gosh don't forget to drink some water sorry why does this have to happen right now going pro a local athletic recruiter caught a glimpse of you working out and thinks you really have what it takes to go professional go to the stadium and get a job in the professional sports career to see if you have what it takes no, we aren't accepting that one. Anyway, as I was saying, don't forget to drink some water and take care of yourselves. And I will see you guys in the next one, I hope. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Bye.